Today I want to show you the secret to making the perfect pulled pork every single time. The kind that just pulls apart with your hands. Super flavorful, super delicious. I start out with a quarter cup of vinegar, a quarter cup of oil, and about a tablespoon of Maggi seasoning. And as you can see here, I use a meat syringe and I inject the piece of pork all over both sides. Just get it really well coated and injected with the marinade. And it's also used as my sticking agent, so I kind of make sure the whole outside is also nice and well coated. After that part is done, the secret rub mix comes into play. I've used this before in my rib recipe. You may have seen it there. If not, I want to show you again the ingredients that goes into this really, really good rub recipe. Into a bowl, combine brown sugar, paprika, kosher salt, and black pepper ground cumin, mustard powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Then just get that all really well combined and mixed together. And then you just wanna start coating your meat with the rub, making sure you get it patted in really well on all sides. And just, as you can see here, I'm flipping it over, just making sure I get it all padded in really, really well. Also, if you are liking this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It's free. And as always, the full written recipe will be down below in the description box. I've got this tightly covered. I'm going to cook it low and slow, only at about 280 degrees for about six hours or so. We will be back and I will show you what it looks like. And here you go, my friends. This is so easy, yet so, so delicious. Pull apart, super tender. And then as I pull it apart, I just put the pieces back in the juices that are surrounding and in the roasting pan there, as you can see. This is just so, so good. You can put these on buns and make super delicious pulled pork sandwiches or just eat it on its own. It's super versatile. You can make tacos with it. A lot of different things you can do with this wonderful pulled pork recipe. As always, I highly, highly recommend it. And I hope you give it a try. I think you all are going to absolutely love it. This is a great recipe for a big crowd, or you can take portions of this and freeze it. It freezes up really, really well. I'm just ladling over some more of the juices just to take it to the next level. Look at this, super delicious. I just wanna say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you next time.